Hey your vision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. 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 Oh, hello, my name is Alicia Michelle. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be doing semifinal predictions for Eurovision 2020. Hi, you know, this is like an interesting year. And it's so crazy because this year, I thought that I was gonna do like my predictions like maybe twice. I was gonna do like my March predictions and then like see if I had like April predictions and like then based off the rehearsals, like then obviously do like some reactions to like the rehearsals and stuff and see if like my predictions for the semifinals would change. The tricky thing with doing like predictions of who is gonna qualify is we'll never know. We will never know, but it's still fun to predict, speculate and guess. And semifinal two, you know, definitely wasn't like the stronger one, you know, semifinal one this year was definitely gonna be the bloodbath. I think we had a lot of competition there. So I'm gonna give my predictions for who I think would have qualified. So I'm gonna start off and talk about what is on my fence, where the songs that I'm kind of feeling like, you know, maybe with the right package, with the right staging, these songs could have probably snuck through or really just surprised us when it came down to it. Because so much of Eurovision is really like that magical moment that happens when you see the performer delivering that song live on the stage. And the first song that I would say, and first country I would say that I'm on the fence about that I feel like could have potentially qualified was Poland. Look, I think Poland does take the song contest seriously. I think that they definitely have budget and they've got some innovative thoughts and minds behind them. And the thing about that song was the song was really epic. The song was designed in a way to take us somewhere, to take us on a little bit of a journey. And I do think that with the right mixture of staging and they had like some pretty decent running order because they were after like Moldova, which is kind of a similar uh, like epic feeling song, but I do think Poland's is slightly stronger. And then I think being followed by San Marino Freaky, you know, it, it kind of is in a place where it's sandwiched in a way that I think it still could have stood out with the right staging. So Poland, I was, I'm, I'm on the fence about. I think Poland had the, the makings to potentially make it through, uh, but I don't think it was a surefire qualifier by any means. Next up, a country I'm on the fence about. I'm on the fence about Albania. And the crazy thing is, I think Albania has momentum. I think a lot of people liked the song. So I do think it was more of like, yeah, I think it's probably gonna make it in. But when I sat down and thought about the countries that I did feel like were gonna make it in, I was like, ooh, okay. You know, Albania might have a harder time getting there than what I thought previously. And another song I'm on the fence about that I, I don't think that this would have qualified, but I do think it could have had a chance to qualify, and that's Finland. Like ultimately, I don't think Finland would have qualified, but I think that it could have come closer to qualification than a lot of us think. And a lot of that is because, you know, there's something about the song that's definitely really inoffensive. Axel was going to deliver it well on stage. And the staging I actually thought that they had at the national selection was really thoughtful. And like quiet as it's kept, I think, you know, Uku staging, you know, was like, okay. But I do think what Axel had for his staging in Finland was actually really, really nice. And I think it's a performance that I could have ended up appreciating way more after rehearsals and whatnot. But again, definitely, I think it could come, it could have come close to qualifying, but ultimately I don't think Finland would have qualified at all. So semifinal two, um, who do I want in the final from semifinal two? I'm gonna start off and say, Georgia. I I had a path for Georgia. I legitimately had a path for Georgia and if Georgia didn't make it through, I was kind of feeling like Albania would. Like legitimately, I felt like Albania would would make it. But Georgia's was just so different. We really didn't have a lot of rock moments this year at Eurovision and I love a rock moment. And so I just think off the strength of the fact that it, it really did stand out. Uh, in the breadth of songs, but looking at the judging 
from last year, I am less confident that Georgia would have been able to pull it off ultimately, but I would have loved to have seen Georgia in my grand final, but I would have been willing to go on and swap Georgia out for Albania. But again, just based off of like musical diversity, I would have liked to have seen Georgia in the final. Next up, you know, I kind of hate to say it because this song isn't really a favorite of mine, but I do think that Austria would have ended up qualifying. I think Austria would have staged this very well. You know, it's an upbeat Bruno Mars-esque track. And um, I, I do think that it would have ended up in the final. Again, I wouldn't have really wanted it there, to be honest. But you know, it's not so much about me, it's about like the breadth of things. And again, I do think that Austria would have executed this well on stage. So unless he hit like some crazy bum notes, I just, I don't see how Austria wouldn't have made it to the final. So yeah, Denmark, you know, I think Denmark could have made it to the final. The song is definitely like Lumineer's derivative. Like it definitely is. But I do think there was something really joyful about the performance. I think Eurovision fans love a duet. I really do. I think people love like a duet moment. And they were giving us a nice fresh duet moment. And I think that Denmark actually could have ended up getting a nice combo of votes from home, um, you know, televoters, and I think a nice combo of jurors who kind of appreciate what they're serving on stage. I don't think that the staging would have been that different from what they did at the national selection, and I think that that's a good thing. I, I really do, I think that that's a good thing. And I think that folks would have ended up putting it in the grand final. I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I just, but I think because of the fact that Again, it's a little bit inoffensive, it's a little bit fun, but also we don't really have a track like it in the song contest this year. So I think off musical diversity, I could have seen Denmark getting into the final. Next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I mean, Switzerland was gonna be in the final. Switzerland could have won this year. So Switzerland was definitely gonna be in the final. I don't even know if I have to say anything else about it. Mm -hmm. Latvia, now, the only thing that makes me nervous about Latvia is really like how people did Triana Park and you know how Poland last year was done and how Portugal last year was done. That's the only thing, but I don't know. I just think that there's something about this that did give me like Valené vibes. And honestly, I remember reacting to Valené and being like, I love this, I'm into it. Y'all probably won't give it any points, but I'm into it. And so to go to Portugal and to actually see Valené, Lea Cirque in the grand final in Lisbon, I was super excited and I did feel like, you know, Samantha Tina could have brought that this year. I really do feel like Samantha Tina could have brought that this year. I think Lafia could have ended up in the final. I think just her vocal is powerful. The song is booming. It's memorable. I would have loved to have seen it in the final and I think it could have made it through. I don't know. I mean, we'll never know, but I think it could have made it through. Next up, another country that's kind of like a duh qualifier. I mean, Bulgaria. Bulgaria was gonna qualify, hello. I mean, Bulgaria could have won Eurovision this year. <laughs> Bulgaria could have won and I think would have been a deserving winner this year. This song was gonna be, I think, really magical on stage. I think the full package of this was really just going to be a moment. I'm so sad that we won't be able to experience it. Uh, but, you know, Bulgaria should obviously be very, very proud of themselves. I mean, they did it. <laughs> Y'all did it again, again, again. I missed Bulgaria last year, and honestly, if I had to give up experiencing them last year to get what they served this year, thank you so much. Well worth the wait. Next up to qualify, Serbia. Yeah, I think Serbia was gonna end up qualifying. Y'all love that song. Y'all love it, y'all love it. I'm telling you, all I needed though was the girls in the little reflective outfits. I would have been cool with that. Um, I don't think that this should have come top 10. I don't think it, it should win Eurovision, but I mean, I definitely feel like, you know, Hurricane was about to have a hurricane 
on the stage in Rotterdam, the Netherlands, Serbia, you were gonna be in the final. Oh, next up, Iceland. Iceland was gonna qualify. It was gonna qualify, I, there's no doubt in my mind, you know, there's a reason why there was winter potential floating around Iceland. There's something just really endearing and quirky about the track and yeah, I mean, Iceland was going to be in the final. I mean, yeah, duh. Next up, my two, two holdouts. What will they be, what will they be, what will they be? Greece and Czech Republic. I think Greece would have pulled it through and ended up qualifying. I think, you know, Stefania was definitely in the best semi. You know, she didn't have to go up against too many of the cool pop girls. All she had to do was go up against Victoria. But luckily, they're both serving very, very different uh, tracks. So I, I think I, I think Greece was going to end up in the final. I really, really do. And and Czech Republic, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of the revamp. I, I just wasn't. I, I really liked the original. I didn't see why we needed a revamp personally. But then I asked y'all on Twitter and there were like a ton of folks who were like, no, 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 this revamp gave me what I was looking for. So hopefully it would have given you what you were looking for enough to get Czech Republic into the grand final. Honestly, I actually think that juries would have shown some love to Benny Cristo. And I think even if televoters weren't fully in it, I think the juries would have been enough to carry it through. But honestly, given the performance that he did, in Ukraine, I felt pretty confident that the stage show was gonna be good. Again, the song was out of the box, but I don't think out of the box in a way that was like too risky. I think it was out of the box in a way that made it stand out. Uh, yeah, so those were my semifinal two predictions. Do you agree with me? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree with me? Talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. Cause I got more content coming for ya. <laughs> Bye.